What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. First, I want to say thank you guys so much. We hit 10,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. I have been waiting for this day for a while and it finally happened and I can't thank you guys enough. Every single one of you that decided to click that the subscribe button and follow all our shenanigans and the content. I really, really do appreciate it. The only way from here is up. So let's keep it going. Share the content, like the videos. It helps more than you guys know. Today, we are gonna be sharing some even more exciting news and uh, we'll get to that here soon. But I wanna let you guys know that I was really appreciative of you guys for the 10,000 subscribers. Uh, me and the family just got back. We actually just took our, took our new camper out for its maiden voyage camping this weekend and it was amazing super nice to get away the truck was a beaut uh for those of you who don't know i have a 2020 toyota tundra uh trd sport um it's filthy right now from the trip but i'm actually just running out um we just got everything unpacked and i'm running out now to uh grab something for the house and then i'm going to head back and uh, dive into what this video is about today which you can already tell from the title um pretty epic news and pretty epic parts so definitely stay tuned guys repping my damon motorsports swag today i'm always wearing their hat because i just love it um but huge shout out to them and uh their team they just popped off a 10-5-1 in the quarter at 131 with a 14760 foot they uh didn't even have a tire pressure gauge they just guessed on the tire pressure uh this drag ms6 has been in the making for probably about two years and uh it's got a lot of different things on it that people aren't running uh such as like a borg warner turbo uh a different ecu uh stuff like that and they're kind of figuring it out but it is uh starting to haul the mail and it is pretty serious Damn. Thing almost popped a wheelie, man. Watch the front end. Oh. <laughs> Huge shout out to those guys. I will always support them they you know they support us on the channel but they are doing awesome things for the platform and always have been so huge shout out to them huge congratulations i know they're going to be going a lot faster in that car uh nines are definitely in the near future but uh we're heading back to the house and i'm gonna let you guys in on some great news All right, guys, so we're back at the house, and I'm proud to announce that we've teamed up with the guys over at X Clutch or Extreme Clutch. Uh, these, this is a Australian-based company that is now based in the U.S. as well uh, within the last year, and these guys are making huge waves in the JDM community. I've been looking for a clutch, as you guys know, for the Speed 6 that's going to hold up to the power. Uh, a lot of the clutches we've run have been like ACT with their 6-puck. Um, but we've been looking for something more on the twin disc side of the house to hold up to the power and the abuse that we're going to be putting the car through. Um, and a lot of, a lot of the time I was looking towards the clutch masters twin disc setup, which is they come in the 725 and the 825 or the 850. Um, but to be honest, it's extremely expensive and not everybody has the budget for a clutch, um, to hold up to the power. I mean, I think the last time I was quoted, it was somewhere around $2,400 all said and done for the clutch flywheel and everything all included. Um, started researching these guys because uh, I got tipped off to them by uh, some people I know and started really looking into them and decided to reach out to figure out what clutch was going to work best for our setup and what we were going to be doing with it. Um, I was straight up honest with them and said we're going to be trying to push for seven to 800 all-wheel horsepower and we're going to abuse it. So I wanted something that's gonna hold up to heat and it's gonna hold up to the abuse of all wheel drive launches and stuff like that. So that way I'm not undershooting it and have to replace the clutch sooner than I would like to. So they set me up with their ceramic twin disc clutch um, that's rated for about 1,350 
foot-pounds of torque. Has a clamping load of 2,900 pounds. What's also nice too is the flywheel, adapter ring, and floater plates all made of 4140 chromoly, so it's definitely gonna handle the abuse. I know of a few people that are running this clutch currently and are absolutely loving it. Now, what makes this clutch stand out over the other ones is the ability to have a stock clutch feeling while you're driving um, versus other twin disc clutches or even single disc clutches or six puck clutches that may have a harder, firmer pedal. Um, this one actually has a stock-like feel, which is insane for the amount that it can handle. You guys, I'm sure know Abdul. Um, I'll link his stuff down below. Um, he has one of the fastest speed sixes in the world. Um, he is actually running this clutch and said he is absolutely in love with it. Uh, he came from a Clutch Masters um, as well. So I'm super excited to have these guys on board. Super excited to actually put it to the test and uh, put it through its paces, um, as well as X Clutch is excited to hear our feedback as well. Um, if you guys want to research their clutches, even if it's not for the Mazda Speed platform, I'll have all their stuff linked down below and you can check it out. Uh, but for now, we're gonna unbox this thing and take a look at what's inside. So guys, as you can see right here, this is the part number for the clutch. As you guys know, Australia, a lot of the guys call it an MPS. This clutch company, like I said, did originate in Australia. They're an Australian based company. So we're gonna uh, open this up here and check it out. I'm definitely pumped to see what it looks like. I've heard from a lot of different people that this is pretty. So this is actually pretty cool. I can show you guys right on the box here. So just to show you how they break down their clutches, they have street and track packages basically, um, or street and track clutch kits, and they come stage one, two, and three, like you can see. Um, and they break down based off power level. And then they also have their motorsports clutch kit, um, which is the one I went with, and it's a twin disc that has the ceramic discs. So the, the only upgrade from here is a carbon clutch kit, and I think the only difference is material. I think it may hold a little bit more power, um, but I'm not quite sure. Like I said, you can check it out yourself um, in the link in the description to search for your vehicle. They do mostly JDM vehicles, but they do have some domestic. Um, but it's really sweet packaging. Uh, they do a good job, uh, but we're gonna crack this open here and take a look. Yeah, this is sweet. I love the way they like market. It's really cool. I like their design. Lots of stickers, jeez. Um, but it gives you, looks like all the tech stuff on it and how to prepare it and set it up. Um, now this is a nine inch clutch. They offer a seven inch as well, if I remember collect correctly. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and rip this open for you guys so you can see. So that is sick. And the thing that is crazy that I've always said to people is that like clutches are such a work of art, but as soon as you put them in and put the transmission on, you never see them again. And then they, you know, they're all crazy dirty and full of dust and everything when you take them out. But this thing is sweet. And I'll tell you firsthand that this thing feels like super heavy duty. And as you guys can see, twin disc clutch. Everything's all kind of put together right now. It all comes with real nice hardware to kind of secure everything down. Um, super, super nice. Um, so other things it comes with, looks like, looks like we got flywheel bolts, throw up bearing, uh, clutch alignment tool and what's that pilot bearing so comes with everything you need um, I think they do have some add-ons for upgrades um, if you need it but this thing is super nice man and I honestly cannot wait to put it in and put it to the test but it has everything labeled inside it tells you Right here in the inside too like if you can see that in there it says gear, like gearbox side so you don't get confused because with twin disc clutch you got to make sure you have you know all the clutch plates uh stacked appropriately um so that when you put it together everything operates as such um, but like i said they have a tech bulletin here that you can go through and 
do your research before you put it together. It shows all the torque specs and everything for how to put the uh, the cover plates on and everything. And just kind of gives you an overall breakdown. So as you guys can see right here, shows you the Australian and US site. Um, Australianclutch.com dash AU. And then US site is xclutchusa.com. Literally the same company, just because of the different countries. Um, but huge shout out to the guys at xclutch for huge help. Uh, if you guys have any questions on what specific clutch you should run for your vehicle, give them a shout, break down what your car is and what your power goals are and how you're going to be using it. And they'll be able to decide which clutch is going to work best for you. I went with a little bit overkill as far as the 1,350 foot pounds of torque. No, I will not make anywhere near that. Um, but this clutch specifically is going to hold up to the abuse a little bit longer than say just one of their normal clutches that would be rated for the power range that I'm going for. So huge shout out to these guys. I'm, I'm extremely excited. Out of this entire rebuild process that we're doing, I think I'm most excited to try this product out. Um, and I'm not saying that just because, you know, they, they're a new sponsor on board. You guys know I support, you know, all of our sponsors. I like what they're doing and what they stand for. So uh, huge shout out to them, like I said. So you guys will see more of this when we go to put the engine together and bolt this up and get ready to drop everything in the car, which I'm super excited for. I have another video for you guys coming this week. Uh, it's an update video on where we're at with the Speed 6. Um, ran into a couple issues waiting on parts uh, that we need to get everything back together. But we have everything else here ready to go, and we're almost at the point where we can start rifling this thing together and get it back on the road for you guys because I know you guys are dying for Speed 6 content. More videos coming at you for the Speed 3 as well, and hopefully be able to catch some race events this next month that we have local with us going on, if everything goes well and they're not canceled due to all the COVID stuff that's going on. But I appreciate you guys watching. Like I said in the beginning of the video, thanks so much for 10,000 subscribers. It's a huge goal of mine, and I'm excited to grow from here and bring you guys along for the ride. But um, feel free to check these guys out. Hopefully they have what you need, and until next time, I'll see you later. Peace.